Users now have the opportunity to define a sequence of characters to act as labels for grids. The example shown above allows the use of Cyrillic character sets as grid labels. This video shows how to assign custom labels for the grid system. Here we attach the Cyrillic labels and add new grid lines with new labels. To add custom characters, we have to open the Grid Manager dialog box and select Settings and define the custom characters for the grid labels. We can then remove the default characters and once we add a new grid line, it will already contain the newly set characters. Export grid to DGN file. We have now introduced ability to export the grid system to a specific DGN file that can then be referenced by other applications. This will then allow applications such as OpenPlant Modeler to utilize the same coordination principles. When a grid system is completed, the grid systems manager can be used to export the grid to an additional DGN file with the export grid to DGN file tool. Users can open a newly created grid file. And find design models with their respective floor names to which they are assigned. And grid models can be then modified. We can hide the label, extend the line, create a band for the line, set the double labels for one line or hide the wall line or lines. Once it is ready, the grid can be referenced to our project. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.